that comes from deep inside to barely even knowing there could be something else there. The genocide of emotion starts with the notion that mostly everyone's too dumb to make their own decisions. But isn't that how we learn? By making our own mistakes? Now nah, we'd all just throw in a fire, conspire, retire at 25 and feed the pigeons razor wire. Just see the streets of tiny tasers. Big Brother would keep men alive, but more like zombies. So we can chop off your head or just open up that boom box instead. Well, actually, just hand over your whole collection because you're under inspection and we know a music's best for you. But don't worry, anything destroyed will be replaced with taste that we know is the best for you. Isn't this great? Your every happiness now is fostered by the state! But wait, man, wait. You were not born to experience curiousness and drove to take everything seriously to succumb to a strict abundance of schedule adherences. But I know that the mirror can show the same day in a delirious perpetual pattern. To escape from that paradox seems like the greatest ambition, but not the fate of the flock. Well, I'd like to think otherwise. My body will burn out and I'd become sick in the mind. Let's take a break from this grind and make a place with no time. To experience the many days ahead in a way that may be fresh and fun and new for you and I. It could be exciting, learning ways to do things for ourselves instead of paying someone else with money made from doing something that you hate and feel useless for doing. Well, survival skills like fishing and hunting are only ever hobbies. No one else ever seems to see anything wrong with this. The fatal flaw seems harmless enough to demotivate the only standing army that a government has to fear. It's painful, it's real, and we don't need violence. But if our voice gets silenced, then tell me who regulates the regulators, who investigates the investigators, who preaches to the preachers. Do we all deserve a different level of respect? People in power protected by legislation, that's deceitful, but it's up to we, the people, to govern the government. Just mother begrudgingness, replace it with lovingness, rise up and above this, and maintain the freedom that is lost so much easier than we would all like to believe. Oh, 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 oh! Prime Minister.